How you doing? Yeah, pretty good, thanks. So, um, 13 changes. A number of players are coming out of isolation to play in this match, uh, like Gareth Davis and Anthony Watson. How, how relieved and pleased are they to be back on the pitch after the chaos of Wednesday? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a bit hectic. Uh, it's, it's a little bit unusual when you're naming the team on the bus, so as you go into the ground um, and you get the, the results half an hour before kickoff. But um, look, we've got uh, a staff member who tested positive and some, some close contacts. We had everyone else was tested today and everything came back negative. So uh, we're really pleased with that. Um, and it looks like we'll have everyone. Um, so we've only, at the moment, we've got uh, one, play, one player with a close contact and four staff members. Warren, why is Jamie your man for this game? Uh, he was the first English hooker as well to have a captain uh, the Lions too, so I think it's a great, great achievement. Um, look, I was incredibly uh, impressed with him four years ago on, on the tour. Just uh, not just his playing ability, just to him as a person, as an individual. So I had a huge amount of time for Jamie uh, from that respect and. Uh, He's been great on tour. He's, you know, developed in terms of experience and leadership, and um, you know, I, I thought it was a, a, was a good fit and a, a reward for someone who's um, been a great servant to the game. And um, so, uh, no, I know, um, yeah, he'll do a great job tomorrow evening. Warren, as you say, one uh, player still isolating. I mean, can you tell us how they're dealing with it and give us an injury update too on Henshaw and, and Hogg? Um, yeah, I mean the, the the players have been isolating the rooms, and then they've been coming down and sitting in on the terrace and having uh, meals on their own. Or the, sorry, the one player and then the staff have been doing that. Um, so they have been able to get out of their rooms and stuff. And then, but apart from them, they've been back in their rooms. Uh, but they seem they seem in good spirits at the moment. Uh, we're hopefully they have everyone back on board on on, on Wednesday, which will be which will be great. Um, and. Robbie Henshaw was running today, which was, which was good, and, and Stuart Hogg is, is, is fit as well. A couple of final points, so Warren. Um, another match for the Sharks after a 50-point win on Wednesday. How useful do you think another match for the Sharks is right now, given the fact they made another 11 changes themselves? Yeah, the um, it's going to be a really good test for us because um, they, despite the scoreline, they did put us under pressure at times. and uh, So we've... You know, looking to do a few things a little bit differently and it gives us an opportunity to do that. I, I think they'll improve from their head out against us. Um, teams tend to improve and be a lot tougher on the on the second occasion. So you know, we've made changes as well. We, we're really pleased with the way that we're tracking along and so we need to also think about the challenges that we're facing in terms of the strength and depth of the, of the opposition and, so, and, and being a little bit adaptable. So we will play um, a bit differently tomorrow in, in terms of the way that we approach the game and we need to be able to do that because we've got to be you know, strong and competitive in certain areas for when we come up against the, the Springboks.